Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video talking about how depersonalization and derealization relates to your gut. And I was just thinking that everything that goes on within our body is connected. Everything that is going on, every single gland, every single cell, every single process, everything is influenced by everything else. And so if one area is off, another area will be off. If this, if this area is malfunctioning or dysfunctioning or dysfunctional, then this area is going to be affected because it's going to try to, there's going to be effects downstream. And so this really made me think about the connection between the gut and your brain and your psychological health and I really think that it's important for you if you have depersonalization and you're not if you're not getting anywhere or if you think if you're still in like a really cloudy cloudy space in your mind and you just you can't get out of this place. I really want you to think about what's going into your body and if your digestion is working optimally. And I bet that it's not. Because one thing I've learned in the last little bit of time is that stress kills your gut. And if you're chronically stressed, like you probably are if you have DP, then your gut is probably a little bit or a lot of it destroyed. And so you really need to consider how you can clean up your gut. And to clean up your gut, uh, I'd really, there's some things, there's a few things that you need to do. And I'm not, I'm in the process of healing everything, my whole body, my mind, all of it. So I'm not telling you that this is like step one, you do this and then A plus A, A plus B equals C. Like this is not like, this is not the formula, the only formula. Like this isn't the only thing. There's so many more things to think about. But things that will probably help you in healing from depersonalization is healing your gut. And one of the biggest things um, for that is obviously decreasing your stress levels. Get out of the places that are toxic. Get out of those places. Focus on the good and try to reduce stress as much as possible. Do as much as you can. Meditate, take nice baths. Don't listen to anything that's too crazy, like anything that can get adrenaline pumping and, and cortisol and stress, get rid of it. Unless you can handle it, but you, like all of those chemicals don't help your gut. There's a reason why it's there's two branches of your autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. The parasympathetic is called the rest and digest. The sympathetic is fight or flight. When you're in the fight or flight mode constantly, which you probably are if you have depersonalization, then you're not going to be resting and digesting and your gut is going to get effed up. So you need to reduce the stress and it's super hard and you got to commit. The second thing is to look at what you're eating. You want to eat very you want to eat very clean. You don't want to eat a lot of junk food. You don't want to eat a lot of processed foods. It seems so simple for me because I've been eating like this, but I know it's if you're if you're deep into depersonalization, then you're probably eating crappy foods as well. Um, food isn't the cure, but it is one little piece of the giant puzzle. So really think about what you're eating 
and look at it and say, is this helping me? Does this make my stomach feel good? If not, then don't eat it. Eat something else. Um, those are, let's see, food and that. Yeah, those are like the main, the main things I can think of. Listen to your body. If you can heal your body, you'll be able to hear your, heal your mind. So just really listen to your body and focus on reducing stress and really try to clean up your diet. Um, eliminate as many processed foods as you can. Eat whole foods. That's what our body is designed to eat, whole foods. And just really listen. Try to track what foods cause reactions. Um, a place to start would be to get rid of dairy and gluten. Um, yeah, just really listen to your body. But yeah, those are my little tips for um, helping with depersonalization in kind of an unexpected way, which is your gut. And it's huge. And I really recommend researching more about the health of your gut and its connection with your brain and your mental health and your mental clarity and your health health overall. So thanks for watching. Hope you can implement these. <clears throat> Hope you can implement these little things. Um, be kind with yourself. It's a it's a long process, but we're all gonna make it. We got this. Peace.